Hey everyone, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and today we're going to take a look at DeWalt's new corded and cordless 20 volt inflator, model number DCC020IB. It came as a bare tool and this is a high volume or high pressure inflator and that is chosen by a button on the front of the unit. Everything here is wrapped together and I'm just going to tell you make sure you read the instructions on this unit or watch the video completely before you start using this. It does have some limitations that you need to know about. First, you can use a 12 volt cigarette lighter in your car, your side by side ATV, anything like that. And the cord is stored nicely on one of the sides inside a compartment. You can also use a 20 volt battery or a flex volt battery. If you do use the flex volt battery, it will stand up a little awkward. You can just lay it down on its back, no issue. Now, batteries are not gonna be the issue as runtime has been absolutely excellent on this unit. We started out by testing this just filling a tire from completely empty up to 35 pounds. This is probably the size of a standard car tire. It's an old Corvette spare. Uh, zero to 35 PSI in six minutes. That's pretty good. And we checked it out. Uh, the tire was probably losing a little bit of air pressure slowly. You could see the gauge go down. So when we checked the pressure, it was at 34 something. I would say this is pretty dead on accurate. I'm going to give you that warning earlier. If you read the instructions, it will tell you that this unit is good to run for 10 minutes maximum. After 10 minutes, this unit needs to rest for 20 minutes and then can be used for 10 minutes again, then rest for 20. So if you have something larger where you're pumping up something to over 100 PSI, then you want to make sure that this unit isn't running for that extended period of time. The heat will build up inside and you can ruin this unit. Now you can go from 3 PSI all the way up to 160 PSI and you can do that with half PSI increments. So you can set a target and go to just about anything you want, either filling a basketball or just going to something larger and pumping up a car tire. Now we went to our F350 and wanted to pump that up from 75 to 80 PSI because realistically these inflators, that's what they're perfect for. You're done with winter time or you wanna pump up something that's losing air, they are perfect to go and say, okay, go from here to our target pressure and it works great. Going from 75 to 80 PSI, one minute, 45 seconds. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. You can go around and take care of all your car tire pressures and it has a nice gauge on the front when you screw in the inflator. It'll tell you what PSI your tire is currently at and then set your target. Gives you a little gauge on how quick it's going to get there. Pretty cool unit. All said and done. This was nicely done and I like it. It's accurate. We tested the 80 PSI and came out to 79.7. I can't ask for anything better than that. So let's come in closer and take a look at what you actually get with this unit and maybe some pluses and minuses of how it's put together. When you first pick up this unit, it's very light at five pounds. The battery slides in nice at the bottom. You have a power button and it comes up in the tire mode. If you want to do your high volume, you just push this button, the little airflow section comes out and you have an inflator and a deflator on this side. This hose is kept over here and it simply slides in and turns into place. And this is one of the downsides I feel on the design is that they have this tube here that you would use for pool stuff or anything that you would want to fill up a raft. Um, but the downside is when you connect this guy back up, that accessory is always hanging out. You can't put it on the bottom because it won't let you sit it down. It's just hanging out there. So if this is not something that you're going to use, the high pressure hose, I'd probably remove it and take it away. The settings for your tire pressure, you just turn this wheel. It's kind of like a radio tuner. And then you push the start or pause button to get the unit going. Now, if you see here, this is the one thing that I think they could have done slightly better on this. And it's, it, it bothers me a little only because I think they can do better, but it still works very well. It's just a little loose. I think that this knob could be put together a little bit tighter. But other than that, I love how you can scroll through very quickly to your target PSI, push start, and it always takes a little bit for it to start. 
It's not incredibly loud, but the little gauge on the side is awesome to give you an idea of how close you are visually to your target PSI. And then if you are working at night, you can turn on the LED light, which is on the side and see around. Pretty slick unit the way they put everything together. And if you happen to store this and your battery was dead and you're using it in a car, you always have backup so you can plug this into your cigarette lighter and still pump up a tire. Overall, when you look at this unit and the way that DeWalt has everything on it, even this three foot cord here, it wraps up nice. I think they knocked it out of the park. The downside to these units are the short runtime. This is not the only one that's out there that has a 10 minute runtime maximum with a rest, although this one does have to rest twice as long as some of the others that we've seen. But overall, once you've had this tool, you will wonder how you got along without it. It's just so convenient to plug into a tire and just raise the PSI by a couple PSI and you'll find yourself maintaining your car or your wheels a little bit more often. I'm a huge fan of these smaller inflators. You can take them with you, especially if you have a side-by-side -side or an ATV. Sometimes we find ourselves on the trail with a flat tire that we have to plug and then pump it back up. These things work awesome, and the fact that you have the capability of running corded or cordless sets this one apart from others because you don't have to always make sure that that battery that's in there is fully charged. You do have a backup. So awesome little unit. Check these out. Also make sure you follow us on social media and also give us a like and subscribe to this channel, please. We will give you a lot of cool things that are coming out in the tool world, a lot of projects and a lot of different things that we build. Thank you for your time, guys. Have a great day.